Hey guys, Ashley Murray here. Today we're going to be doing a very different video. No makeup involved. I barely have any makeup on my face. The hair isn't really done. I don't have on a nice cute shirt. But today I just wanted it to be a video where you can get to know me a little bit more. Uh, this is going to be a 50 facts you don't know about me video. This tag is very old. But I think it's crucial that when you're starting a channel that your audience gets to know you on a more personal level. So I thought this could be a nice, lighthearted video that we could do. I want you guys to leave me, let's say, I'm doing 50, so five facts about you in the comments below so we can get to know each other more. If you like this video, make sure you like, share, subscribe, ring that notification bell. I'm here every Tuesday and every Thursday, and let's get into the video. My facts are gonna be in this little book if you see me looking down, but Let's go through them. I'm not going to keep you here all day. So, first fact, I was obsessed with Justin Bieber as a kid. And I used to go to, like, every time we would go to the store, if I saw, you know, like, the teen magazines that his picture was on the side, I knew that means that they had a bigger picture inside. So, I would always ask my mom to get me those magazines. Do so you remember how the teen magazines used to have, like, the posters that, like, were, like, this big? all over my wall it was like a shrine from ceiling to floor next is the view i love the view i know it gets a lot of crap because some of the hosts have like polarizing opinions but i think it's important especially in this day and age that we listen to everyone's side of the story next um a fact about me is my favorite dessert is chocolate chip cookies i could eat and would eat a chocolate chip cookie or two every single day if I could. A food I don't like. I really don't like berries of any kind. I'll have strawberries in like a smoothie, but like physically eating strawberries, I don't like because of the little seeds. Blackberries and blueberries like burst. It, I don't know, it's not even the taste because the taste doesn't bother me. It's the texture of berries that I don't like. So chocolate chip cookies, yes, berries, no. Volleyball. I played volleyball for eight years of my life. It was my, it's definitely like my favorite sport to play. I started when I was about eight and I finished when I was around like 16. It was honestly the some of the best times of my life. I loved being on a team. I was a basketball manager for all four years in high school and a year in college. I, my favorite sport not to play but to watch is definitely basketball. I love the entire aspect of the game. My favorite TV show is One Tree Hill. I found that show in like, I would say eighth grade after it already aired, it was on Netflix. And I've watched all nine seasons a good like five times. So it's my favorite show. My favorite character is Peyton. And I just really relate to like teen dramas. So like, I really love it. I started wearing makeup in like sixth grade. And by makeup, I mean my mom, do you know those things at Claire's? They're like this big. They came with like 40 different eyeshadows. All the eyeshadows are absolutely terrible, but you were so excited to just have them. And they come with like little blocks of lipsticks and stuff. Whatever shirt I was wearing, I would match my eyeshadow to my shirt. The first YouTube channel I ever watched was Juicy Star 07, Blair Fowler. That is, her and her sister Elle were the first two beauty gurus I ever watched. First two YouTube channels I was ever invested in. And now I watch YouTube for like hours a day. So like they definitely started like my love for this platform. I love to bake. I love making cakes and pies and things like that, which is another reason why cookies are my favorite. I cook all the time, but baking is definitely my favorite. So it's a little fact about me. Maybe you can do some baking um, videos on this channel. That'd be a lot of fun. I actually wrote a novel when I was a sophomore in high school. It's not published or anything, but me, I was in a creative writing class and we did something called NaNoWriMo. And I created a novel and I created it for my mother for Mother's Day that year. And she still has it. It's not great. I never published it. But I wrote one and I finished a challenge. So it was a great experience. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this yet, but I'm going to college to become an English high school teacher. I'm getting my major in English and my minor in education in secondary schools from 7th to 12th grade. And I want to become a teacher. In a year this time, I'll be starting um working at my first school in my first classroom there's nothing that makes me more excited than that right now so yeah i want to become a teacher 
going into this year of college. This is my last year, my fourth year, and I'm a senior. I'm so ready to start. It's gonna be a busy year, but I think it's gonna be such a good year. I have a trip planned with some friends and family for a spring break. So I'm just excited to get this year up and going so I can be finished, if I'm being honest. Speaking of school, I'll be graduating college when I'm 21 because I started school a year early. I, I my mom, I guess, was just very determined to get me out of the house and because I, she said I was an advanced learner, so she wanted to get my brain cells going. So I started school when I was four instead of five. So I've always been younger than the rest of my friends and all of my grade levels. But yeah, I'll be graduating when I'm 21 because of that, which is kind of cool. I'm allergic to ants. And not if they're allergic, like, oh, it gets a little swollen and it's itchy. No, I had an ant bite on my foot. And I would say fifth grade, I ended up being in the hospital for like a week. It gets really bad. I have medication for it. I have an EpiPen. And I'm pretty much the only person I know that's so allergic to insects as I am. So like camping and stuff, not really my thing. I want to try it. But like the insects is definitely something that like is in the back of my mind. My favorite type of music is definitely country music. I love country and pop, but country really grew on me starting like, I would say freshman year of high school. It's just great storytelling music and it will definitely, I would definitely say it's my favorite music. I have three dogs, Jasmine, Frankie, and Poseidon. The Jasmine and Frankie are Pomeranians and Poseidon's a Great Dane. If you ever hear like tippy toes or like munching, it's them in the background. I plan on doing a meet my dogs video because I think that'd be really cute. And yeah, I have three dogs. I've always had dogs my entire life, so it's amazing. My favorite reality TV show right now is Love Island. It's from the, I love the UK version the best. If you haven't checked it out, you definitely should. I love reality TV. I love mindless TV. You can just come home to and just relax. And it's not like um, complex. I mean, I watch like at least 15 shows a week that are like complex, make you cry. Sometimes you just need some reality TV to really like chill out. Another fact about me, I've never broken a bone before. All of these limbs have been perfectly intact for my entire life and I'm very happy about that because going to the next fact, I'm definitely afraid of breaking a bone. I've never jumped off of a swing because of that. The thought of breaking bones really scares me. Never done a somersault because I was scared of breaking my neck as a kid. I don't know, something about the idea of breaking a bone has always terrified me. I love to read. I Like I said, I'm an English major, so like if you didn't like to read, it kind of be an issue because it's kind of all you do. But I love novels. My favorite is like young adult fiction. I absolutely love to read. I don't get to do it as much now because in school I'm reading so many books that are required, but when I get some free time back, I'm hoping to get back into it. I learned how to play the violin in elementary. I started, I would say fourth or fifth grade and ended like seventh grade. Um, and that's when like sports picked up. So I kind of had to choose between the two. Haven't picked up a violin in years and I doubt I'd even know how to like play anymore. This is going to be like the strangest fact about me. But I often think about the day I learned the definition of the word kerfuffle. I was in eighth grade and my English teacher had a word of the week and we would do like a different word every week, obviously. And the word of the week was kerfuffle. And I were, and it means ruckus. And I think about that more often than most people would, I think. Oh, um, when I sleep, I don't just take the covers. I wrap myself in covers. I really like the cocoon effect of being like snuggled up in sheets. So anytime someone sleeps with me, they're usually not left with any cover because I like pull them in from both sides. So yeah. Like I said earlier, I love to cook. I cook at least five times a week or four to five times a week in my house. And I've always loved to cook. I love to cook for Omar. I love to cook for my mom. And it's just, been, it's just one of my favorite pastimes. I like to put on TV or a podcast and just cook. Another fact about me, like I said, I love to cocoon in blankets. It can be, I'll be hot and I still have a blanket on. I can't sleep without a blanket. I don't like sitting on the couch without a blanket. I always have a blanket on me, whether I'm hot or cold, which is so strange. But yeah, I always have a blanket with me. Another fact about me is I watch hours of TV like a week. I love TV. I love television shows getting sucked up into drama. I like reality TV. And that's my favorite pastime, I think, is just sitting on my couch 
and watching TV. I love a good story. My screen time on my phone is about five hours and 55 minutes a day, which is terrible. But I think it's just because I scroll. I just scroll. I'm not my. I'm not looking at anything. I'm just mindlessly scrolling, and I find it very like not entertaining, but like it just gives me something to do. And also, I watch so many YouTube videos that are like 30 minutes a piece. So I'm gonna chop chop it up to that, and not say that I have an issue. But my favorite fast food is Taco Bell. I love it. If I'm gonna go out and eat like a bad meal, it's gonna be Taco Bell because I always know that I'm gonna get something that I love. I get the same thing, so yeah, I love Taco Bell. Another weird fact about me is I've always wanted an office job. For some reason, I've always wanted a job where all I have to do is type all day. Since I was a kid, I thought that was like top tier level. If you have a cubicle in your own computer, your own keyboard, you've made it. I know that's not the case anymore, but I would love to have an office job for like, six months so we'll see if i ever just stop teaching for a year just to have a plain office job speaking of jobs my first job was at panera bread i worked there for i worked there for about a year i um, wasn't 16 until my junior year so i did it my junior year and senior year and then once senior year was over i had to go to school but yeah i worked at panera bread it was great i never actually tried the food until my interview day and I mean, I liked it, it was fun to work there. A little hectic, but the food industry is always a bit hectic. I am a planner. I love to have everything organized and everything planned out when it comes to vacations, when it comes to schoolwork. I don't miss deadlines ever. I'm always on time. I just like to have, I know when things are, need to get done and when they don't need to get done. I know when I can push things. I'm the complete opposite of a procrastinator. I used to get things done like now, now, now. And that can be good and that can also be bad because going into my next thing, I'm very impatient. I think I'm the most impatient person I know. I definitely get it from my mom. We're both very like, do this, do that, quick, quick. But most people don't run that way and I can get very snappy because I am impatient. So that is something that I'm working on. Something else, I have RBF. If you don't know what that is, you should Google it because I'm not gonna curse on my channel. But it's basically that when someone looks at you and I have a resting face, it's not the nicest. I'm not a, really a smiler, if I'm being honest. I don't sit around like all day. This is my natural face. And I would say it looks pretty uninterested, like like I'm not interested in the conversation that I don't like you. And that's not it at all. That's just my face. I am, it's going to be broken down to three facts. So I'm an Aquarius. I am, uh, I have a rising Cancer and a moon in Libra. Not really sure what that means, but I am getting more into like reading about astrology. I think it's really interesting. There's just so much information that is hard to digest, but I am really getting into it. I hate small talk. It's something, it's one of the worst things about going out in public for me is when people come up who have nothing to say. It's like, I just like deeper conversations. Tell me about your family. Tell me about your trauma. I don't want to hear about your, I don't know, about your daughter's best friend who just got accepted into Yale. That has nothing to do with me. But... I need to get better at it because it's not nice and it does not lend me well in social social situations when I can't mingle because I get annoyed very quickly. Something else about me, I check my email constantly. I think I check my email, especially during school time because that's when you get like information from your um, professors. I check my email a good 10 times a day. And I just like to know what's going on, you know? Like, I don't want to be left out the loop or miss an email, miss a class cancellation. So I'm on checking my email like all the time. My favorite social media app is Twitter. I absolutely love it. I'm on Twitter all day. It's so funny, night mode all the way. But I just love Twitter. I love scrolling. I love seeing what's trending. It's so funny. Like, everyone on Twitter who goes viral on Twitter is funny. Sorry if you're clicking, it's my little side side. But yeah, I absolutely love Twitter. Favorite app by far. Can y'all see him? Come here, Taylor. Come here. Okay, we'll walk away. 
Okay, next fact about me is the way I wake up is very important to me. I have certain sound, certain sounds on my alarms that wake me up slowly. I don't like the eh, eh, eh. that drives me insane. I don't like to be woken up minutes before my alarm. I don't like to be woken up before it's time for me to wake up. If I'm woken up aggressively, it ruins my day, if I'm being honest. Even if I have to get up at 5.30 in the morning, I like to have my alarms to my sounds that aren't aggressive. They're not abrasive. It gives me a few seconds to like come to. I love weddings. That's another fact about me. I really do love love. Every wedding I go to, it could be a stranger and I'm going to cry. Because I just, I love weddings. I love vows. I love the speeches. I love everything about it. I just I love a wedding. Dreams. I don't dream. I think I have a dream a month. I know they say you dream every night, which I don't really believe, but if I do, I just don't remember any of them. My boyfriend has very elaborate dreams that he always remembers. I don't remember any of my dreams ever, and when I do have them, they're just really strange. So I don't know what that says about me, but I don't dream. Another weird thing about me is I either have to have hot food or cold food. Lukewarm food really irritates me. If it's gonna be hot, I need it to be real hot. And if I'm gonna, I'm fine with cold food too, but it's the in between that middle that I really don't like. I like, I don't know, it's something about me where I just like one or the other. I don't like when like half of the bite was hot and then the middle's cold, that really just ticks me off. So that's something weird. Um, speaking of like food and drinks, I don't really drink coffee. I would say I have a coffee every few months, but coffee really just isn't my thing. It doesn't make me feel great. It doesn't really wake me up. It just, to me, it's just not worth it. Another thing about like food and stuff, I don't chew gum. I heard one time that it like messes up your metabolism, which I don't know if it's true or not. Like the chewing makes your body think that you should be eating them. You're not getting nutrients. It like throws your body off. I don't know if that's true, but I really don't like chewing gum. I find that the flavor is gone in like a minute or two and then I'm just stuck chewing on something that doesn't taste good and then you have to find a trash can. It's just a whole thing that I just don't like participating in. I just don't really chew gum that often. Three more guys. I am an introvert. I gain a lot of my energy from being alone. I really like quiet time and me time. Just came back from a girl's trip and today it's just been me at my house. And it's been really great to just gain energy by being alone, watching TV, watching YouTube. And yeah, I really just gain my energy from being alone. But I'm an INFJ if that means anything to you. If that helps you get to know me better. Um, and a last one, I want to say I love this platform. I've always loved this platform since I was in sixth grade. It's something about this that allows you to connect with people that you've never, you never be able to connect with before, learn new tips, learn just confidence and everything. I love this platform and I hope to be on this platform for a long time talking to you. So that's 50 facts about me. If you like this video, make sure you like, share, subscribe, ring that notification bell. I'm here every Tuesday and Thursday, the makeup is coming back at you. But today I just want to sit down and chat. So I hope to see you here next time. Bye.